Anything, guys? There we go. John Hale, we'll start with you. Well, Nate, Cal, uh, after the game Saturday, made a point to note you played through some contact, playing a little rough, especially in the second half. What brought that out in you, and how important is that for you to, to kind of give the production that he's looking for? Oh, uh, it's really important for me, you know, um, making sure I'm low on the ground, um, staying aggressive, grabbing tough boards. Um, it's just something that I got to focus on more and, and just bring every night, you know, be more consistent. Kyle Tucker, we'll go to you. And then Jerry Tipton. Yeah, Olivier, uh, Bruiser was saying that, you know, obviously you're still in the ACC at Wake Forest, but just sort of the pressure, the scrutiny of being at Kentucky is still different um, than being there. Do you agree with that? And, and in what way? How do you feel it differently at Kentucky? I mean, obviously it's really it's really different, you know. Um, still the same game, but uh, you got more pressure at Kentucky, I think. More outside pressure, more uh, expectations. And and you can feel that as a player. I mean, it, it's it's a good preparation for the next level, but uh, it takes some time to adapt and and get used to it. Go ahead, Jerry. Olivier <clears throat> Bruiser said this, and I hear coaches say the players should not look at social media. Don't look at what people are saying about how you play and so on and so forth. How closely do you look at that stuff? How closely do you? your teammates look at it? Um, I can only speak for myself, but uh, I do not have social media anymore since the start of the season. Um, I'm not I'm not on it. I don't pay attention to it. I'm trying to just stay focused on the goal that we have with the team. So I'm, I'm not aware of, of what's going on over there. I'm not either. <laughs> uh, Coach also said after the last game, he'd like to see you score like 12 to 15 points a game. Uh, but, you know, and he said he told you that. What? Uh, how does that play on your mind? What do you think he's trying to get across to you? I mean, I think he's trying to show me that I need to be more involved offensively, um, take more responsibility for the team, um, being more aggressive, getting to the free throw line, and just finding a way to be productive um, so they can rely on me um, every every other game, every game. You know, be be more consistent um, because we need that we need that core. Um, we're really good on defense, and I think our offense can really improve. And that's part of it. John Wall, go to you. Olivia, you've had a chance now to play several conference games. And I know basketball is basketball, but what are some of the biggest differences you've noticed between the ACC and the SEC? Um, I think it's, it's, it's a different style of play um, I think it's it's more athletic in this league um, you don't play against big centers that much there's a couple of teams that got big centers but not as much as in the ACC I think I mean since last season for me in comparison but other than that I mean um, the style of play is a little bit different You've also talked about productivity. One of the ways that you can be productive for the team is rebounding. Can you mm -hmm. talk a little bit about how you think you've uh, improved in that aspect of your game? Um, I mean, I think for me, it's uh, just being consistent with it. Uh, as you say, um, just grabbing one board every every other possession. I mean, it's, it's really important. Uh, we got length, we got athleticism, and and grabbing rebounds show that and and that's key uh, we got some games that we lost like one possession away and we got beat on the on the board whether it was offensive or defensive board they they crushed us and i think it's something that we need to go back to and be more consistent with it jerry come back to you yeah olivia i wonder what uh what do you remember about the first game with alabama um they made a lot of threes. And I mean, they made a lot of threes. And um, I think we didn't we didn't follow the scouting report as much as we as we should have. And and that cost us the game by a lot. And what uh, 
What do you think about revenge as a motive going into tomorrow? What do, what do you think of how Alabama's leading the league, undefeated in the league? How big of a challenge are they? Good for them. Um, it's helping us, bringing the best out of us. It's a good challenge. Um, we're going to war over there, and, and I, know, I know the guys are ready. So um, it was, it's a great challenge for us. They talked a lot during the game, so we got good motivation. Anything else for Olivier, guys? Yep, Jerry, come back to you again. Yeah, one more for me, Olivier. What, you said they talked a lot. And I remember Cal said as the game ended, one of them said to him, what's the score? Uh, what, what sort of things were they saying? You know, how that you remember. Obviously, it seems like you remember it. I mean, you know, what's... You know what's happening on the basketball court. You got a lot of guys talk, uh, whether it's trash, whether it's, it's just to get a, get you out of uh, out of your game. Um, I'm not going to pinpoint exactly everything they said. Uh, we don't need to do that. But uh, all we know is that they talked a lot. So it's not part of our game. We're just trying to focus on what we do, and we do it try to do it at, at the best of our abilities, and, and that's what we're going to try to do on on Tuesday. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else for Olivier, guys? All right. Well, thank you.